Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, today I am showing you how to speed up your Huawei Mate 9. Now, this is going to take a couple of different steps, but the first one's always been the same, and that is going into Settings menu, swiping all the way down, which we already are, onto About Phone, and then we're going to be hitting Build Number repeatedly, and this will unlock developer options. What this now gives us is an additional menu feature right here, which we can now go into under developer options. Now, what you want to do here is go all the way down to the drawing category. You see, under the drawing category, you have three things that say animation and scale. What this allows for is to actually tell your phone, hey, I know you take a second to do everything, but you can actually do it in half a second which allows for a quicker experience when going between things, hitting your home button, everything is just going to move faster. So you'll notice as you're going along it moves faster. So that's the first and foremost thing. Second thing is uh, not only do we want to uh, improve speed, but we also want to improve battery life. So the next step we're going to do is actually going to uh, help your battery life out and that is under lock screen security. Oops, sorry, not lock screen security. On this phone, it did move to sorry, this one did really move to somewhere different that oh, advanced. Sorry, advanced settings. Under advanced settings, you go under location access, and then you uh go into the menu up here and scan settings. Under scan settings you turn off Bluetooth scanning and that will help you out uh, and not drain your battery because that is running at all times even if your Bluetooth is off it actually is still on. Next you're going to go to Smart Assistant and you're going to turn off a lot of extra features that you might not need such as motion control. For instance, I actually don't use any of these on motion control, but all of them are on, and it is draining your battery for these to be on. So I would actually turn all of these off. Any of them that are on, you can turn them off. So some of these are off already. Uh, sorry, I pre-turned some of these off already. And some of these you can turn off so that they're not running in the background. And that really helps uh, just because then it's not waiting for your knuckle to hit and it's like having two levels of sensitivity again for no reason if you don't use them. So all of the extra features that you don't want to use uh, if any of the voice controls are on, most of them are off by default, but if any of these things are on by default you want to turn on. The one thing you want to turn on actually though is touch disable mode. This makes it so when it goes off in your pocket it actually won't uh, go off your touch screen. So basically, it knows, hey, I'm in a pocket. It doesn't matter if you touch the screen because he didn't mean to. So that's a really great feature to have. The other thing you want to do is get rid of any of the built-in apps that you just don't need. So if you don't need booking.com for a hotel, remove it. What this does is, oh, sorry, you want to remove it from here. I'm used to not having an app drawer in the Huawei, so you want to grab it here and uninstall. These will either uninstall or disable apps, and the reason why this is so important to do is because all these apps are running in the background. So any of the built-in apps that aren't essential, like Google or, um, or any of the Huawei features, you probably don't need and you can get rid of. So if you don't need the WPS Office, say you're using Microsoft Office, you grab it and you uninstall it. And it's just that easy. You get rid of anything you don't need so that way your phone will run faster. Now, should you delete something like files or flashlight? No. Any of the built-in ones that seem kind of important or kind of like the consumer support or anything like that, you might not want to delete just in case. If you don't know, just play it safe and don't delete it. But this will also save you battery life and speed up your phone because again, less of these apps are on it. So it's gonna to start to move faster and faster as it goes along. All right guys, keep doing that and you will have a faster and better and longer battery life phone. Hopefully you did find these tips helpful. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below and share this on all the social media websites. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy.